Hello, 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 how are you? Hello, 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 how are you? Hello friends, welcome to Circle Time in Miss April's classroom. My name is Miss April. What's your name? I'm so glad you joined me today. We are going to have a lot of fun in circle time today. Let's start with our weather song. What is the weather, the weather, the weather? What is the weather, the weather today? Is it sunny? Is it cloudy? Is it rainy? Is it snowy? What is the weather, the weather today? Okay, friends, let's look out of our weather window so we can see what the weather is today. Ready? Oh, look, what's the weather like today? Yes, it's sunny. Can you help me make a weather sentence? Perfect. Let's pick out a picture to represent the sunny day. Hmm. Which picture should I use in my weather sentence? Remember, it's a sunny day. If you pointed to this picture, I agree. It shows the sun, so it definitely represents a sunny day. Let's add it to our weather sentence. Okay, can you help me read today's sentence? Perfect. The weather is sunny. Good, let's read it one more time. The weather is sunny. Perfect, you just read today's weather sentence. Before we get Brittany and Bobby Bear dressed for this sunny day, let's sing another song about today's weather. Ready? Sunny, 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 sunny. It is sunny today. S-U-N-N-Y, sunny. It is sunny today. Let's try it one more time. Ready? Sunny, 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 sunny. It is sunny today. S-U-N-N-Y, sunny. It is sunny today. Perfect. Okay, now it's time to get Brittany and Bobby Bear dressed for the sunny day. Remember, it's fall time, so it's also cool outside. So we need to keep that in mind when we're picking out Brittany and Bobby's clothes. Let's start with Brittany Bear. What should Brittany Bear wear on a cool, sunny day? Should she wear a t-shirt or a dress? Remember, it's cool and sunny. If you chose the t-shirt, I agree. On cool days, I would wear a t-shirt. If I wore a dress, I might get cold. So let's put the t-shirt on Brittany Bear. What colors do you see on Brittany's shirt? I see red and white. Awesome. Okay, now let's put pants on Brittany. She already chose her pants. What color pants did Brittany choose today? She chose blue pants. Let's put the blue pants on Brittany. She's wearing long pants because it's cool outside and all she needs are shoes. Her shoes are going to match her shirt. What color will Brittany's shoes be today? If you said red, I agree. Let's put red shoes on Brittany Bear. One red shoe and another red shoe. Perfect. Now Brittany is ready for our cool sunny day. Okay, now it's time to get Bobby Bear dressed. Can you help me? Perfect. We need help picking out a top for Bobby Bear. What should Bobby Bear wear on a cool sunny day? Should he wear a raincoat or a short sleeve shirt? If you chose the short sleeve shirt, I agree. It's 
it's not raining outside, so Bobby doesn't need his raincoat. Let's put the shirt on Bobby. What colors do you see on Bobby's shirt? I see yellow and green. If you said yellow and green, you are correct. Let's see what pants Bobby chose today. Oh, what color are Bobby's pants? He chose green pants. Let's put the green pants on Bobby. Perfect. Now, Bobby needs shoes. His shoes are going to match his pants and the number on his shirt. What color will his shoes, his shoes be? If you said green, you are correct. Let's put the green shoes on Bobby. There we go. Now Brittany and Bobby are all dressed for the sunny day. Now that we're finished with the weather, it's time to move on to our letter of the week. We have two letters this week. This week is our review week. So we're reviewing lots of the things we've already learned. Today, we're reviewing two letters that we've learned. Let's start with the one on top. Do you remember what letter this is? It's the letter S. Can you say S? Perfect. Do you remember what sound the letter S makes? It makes the S sound. Can you say it with me? S. Great. The letter S makes the S sound. We have our uppercase S and our lowercase S. Okay, let's move on to our next letter. Do you remember the name of this letter? It's the letter M. Can you say M? Great job. What sound does the letter M make? It makes the mmm sound. Can you make that sound with me? Mmm. Great. The letter M makes the mmm sound. Today, we are going to look at pictures and we're going to figure out which picture starts with our letter. We'll start with the letter S. We'll have two pictures on the screen and you have to pick the picture that starts with the letter S. That means it's going to start with the sound. Are you ready? Great. Let's look at our pictures. Oh, I see a dog and a snake. Hmm. Which picture starts with the letter S? Which one starts with the S sound? If you chose the snake, you are correct. S is for snake. Snake, s snake, s snake. Great job, friends. Okay, it's time to move on to our next letter. This time, we're going to find the picture that starts with the letter M. That means it starts with the M mm sound. Are you ready? Oh, I see a monkey and a helicopter. Hmm, which picture starts with the letter M? That means it starts with the M mm sound. Monkey or helicopter? If you chose the monkey, you are correct. M is for monkey. M, mm, mm, monkey. M, mm, mm, monkey. M, monkey. Awesome job, friends. You just chose the correct picture to match each letter. Now it's time to move on to our number of the week. This week, before we choose our number, we are going to practice counting. We're going to be counting to 10. Can you count with me? Perfect. It's been a while since we counted to 10, so try your best. And if you already know how to count to 10, then this is just great practice. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job, friends. You just counted to the number ten. This time, we're going to count a little faster. Are you ready? Great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great work! Okay, now it's time for me to show you the number of the day. Remember, this is our review week, so this is a number we've already learned. Let's see if you remember the name of this number. Do you remember what number this is? It's the number three. Can you say three? Perfect. Okay, I'm going to show you a picture, and you have to choose which picture shows the number three. Or it'll show three objects. Are you ready? Let's look at our pictures. Which one shows three objects? If you pointed to this picture, you are correct. It shows three socks. Hey! Socks starts with the s sound. It starts with the letter S. Great job, friends. You just chose the picture that showed three objects because we are looking at the number three today. Awesome job. Now it's time to move on to our colors. This week, we're going to be reviewing our colors. Today, I have a special surprise. I'm going to read a book. Our book has lots of colors in it. We'll also see a lot of animals. This is one of my favorite books, and I'm pretty sure you're going to enjoy it too. Okay, let's look at the title. The title of our story is Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? So we're going to be using our eyes. Our sense of sight is going to help us see what's in this story. This story is written by Bill Martin Jr. And the illustrations, are, the pictures, are by Eric Carle. Hey, we read The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Eric Carle was the author and the illustrator of that book, too. Okay, are you ready? Let's read our story. Brown Bear, Brown Bear, what do you see? Brown Bear, Brown Bear, what do you see? I see a red bird looking at me. Red bird, red bird, what do you see? I see a yellow duck looking at me. Yellow duck, yellow duck, what do you see? I see a blue horse looking at me. Blue horse, blue horse, what do you see? I see a green frog looking at me. Green frog, green frog, what do you see? I see a purple cat looking at me. Purple cat, purple cat, what do you see? I see a white dog looking at me. White dog, white dog, what do you see? I see a black sheep looking at me. Black sheep, black sheep, what do you see? I see, oh, I wonder what the black sheep is going to see. A goldfish looking at me. Goldfish, goldfish, what do you see? I see a teacher looking at me. Teacher, teacher, what do you see? I see children looking at me. Children, children, what do you see? Hmm, we see, okay, say 
say it with me. Ready? We see a brown bear, a red bird, a yellow duck, a blue horse, a green frog, a purple cat, a white dog, a black sheep, a goldfish, and a teacher looking at us. That's what we see. Wow, I really enjoyed this book. It shows us all different colors and it even shows us lots of animals. I saw a purple cat in our story. I've never seen a purple cat before, but our story has a purple cat. What other colors did you see in our story? Wow, thank you for sharing. Yes, I saw those colors too. This week, we are going to be reviewing all of our colors. But now it's time to move on to our shapes. We're also reviewing our shapes this week. So what I'm going to do is I have a stack of all the shapes we've learned. And we're just going to look at each shape and I want to see if you remember the name of the shape. Let's start with this shape. Do you remember the name of this shape? If you said a circle, you are correct. It is a circle. It's round with zero sides and zero corners. Let's look at our next shape. Oh, look, what shape is this? It's a rectangle. Can you say rectangle? Awesome. A rectangle has four sides and four corners. And the opposite, our parallel sides, are the same. Okay, let's look at our next shape. What's this? It's a triangle. A triangle has three sides and three corners. Okay, let's take a look at our next shape. Do you remember the name of this shape? If you said a square, you are correct. This is a square. A square is a special rectangle. It has four sides and four corners and all the sides are exactly the same size. That's what that's what makes it so special. Okay, let's take a look at our next shape. What's this? It's an oval. An oval is curved. It has zero sides and zero corners. It kind of looks like a smushed circle. Okay, let's take a look. We have two more shapes. What's this? It's a rhombus. Can you say rhombus? Perfect. A rhombus has four sides and four corners, but the sides are at a diagonal angle. They're slanted, not like a square. A square, the lines look perfectly horizontal and vertical. Okay, well, we have one more shape. Ooh, what's this shape? It's a pentagon. A pentagon has five sides and five corners. Well, that's it for our shapes. We just named all the shapes we've learned so far in circle time. Great work. If you forgot some of the shapes, it's okay because we're going to be reviewing them all week long. But that's it for our circle time board today. Thank you so much for coming. And make sure you come back tomorrow for another special story to help us review some things we've already learned. Bye. See you tomorrow. Hi everyone. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button. And if you would like to see more videos just like this one from Miss April's Classroom, make sure you click subscribe.